Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you have been doing so, so incredible. I know it's been uh, almost two months now since the last episode. And yeah, I, I kind of took a break. It was kind of impromptu. I really didn't expect it. I actually initially had a guest that was going to appear on the next episode for the show. And we never ended up recording and I ended up going off island away from home where I live for about a month and a half and and didn't record while I was away so yeah didn't mean to uh just kind of leave unexpected but yeah it, it was definitely quite the journey there's been a lot going on in the past few months you know I, I had some stuff that came up I was telling y'all about the the health stuff that came up and it was uh I guess I mean there there were a few things but one of the most prominent things that was most of uh the concern being involved with my health or my immediate health was the diagnosis of cancer that was uh that was given to me it was a rare type of cancer and it was looking like it spread to uh infect a lymph node under my arm and it was pretty swollen and it happened pretty fast and there was like two months of a lot of pain a lot of like you know not being able to really move that arm that much it was uh it was not looking the best and uh, based on scans and things like that it was looking like it had metastasized so it was a metastatic disease which is essentially stage four cancer and the treatments that they were suggesting it wasn't something that I wanted to do personally I know that many of you have been touched in some kind of way by cancer you know I mean it's something that's so prevalent in our society and um, you know I'm, I'm really hoping that we can find better means of helping individuals but the practices that they wanted to do like the chemotherapy or radiation it wasn't something that I wanted to do based on the other tests that were done you know they did tests on my heart and my lungs and stuff and um, it basically just wasn't something that felt right for me and I I fully advise everyone to go about their own path and their own journey on whatever medical direction that they want to go in I, I don't think that that's for anyone else's business or anyone else's say I mean you can obviously take into consideration thoughts of friends and family but Ultimately, it's your body, it's your decision, it's it's your choice, and my choice was that I didn't want to do that. So I kind of made that pretty firm in my mind and decided to take a trip. I, I was planning a trip to essentially see all my friends and family and tell them about, you know, you know what was going on and that I was going to just travel. My, my plan was kind of just like stop working and just travel. I, you know, first off, see family and stuff. I ordered my passport weeks before it actually just got in. But I ordered my passport like weeks before I left for the trip. And yeah, that, that was my plan. And I had that all kind of set out already. So after after all that stuff was happening, I was kind of just planning what I was going to be doing down the line. And, you know, there was a lot of processing that was happening throughout that time. I was very, you know, obviously thinking about death. That was a very huge concept that was on my mind during that time, obviously. And, you know, I, I feel I feel very fortunate because... I feel as though if this were told to me years ago, I would have, I don't know what would have happened. Like, I feel like I would have spiraled down deeper into a depression. Like I I mentioned on some podcast, the depression that I've gone through. And, you know, I feel like if I were told this before, I would just spiral down and I don't know what would have happened. But I feel very fortunate right now because I feel like I've come to a place and it's taken so much time and taken a lot of work. And, you know, it's like the work that we all do each and every day, each and every one of us do this work. And it's taken me a lot of time, but I feel like I'm in a place where I feel grounded. I feel like my feet are firmly planted and obviously being told that you have this cancer and that's spreading and, you know, it's stage four, like that's something that definitely seems like it would knock you down. And throughout the entire process, I think I I felt so grounded that it didn't really, it didn't knock me down. It didn't make me feel bad about anything you know it was obviously processing very heavy things and and big things but it was never something that really made me feel like you know oh this is it like you know I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna like wallow in this you know like it was it was never me kind of diving into those negative thoughts but definitely those deep concepts like death and what what my family and friends are gonna think what what all these different things are gonna happen like if you know, I ended up, you know, passing on from this. And, and that was something that obviously, like I had to come to terms with, and really think about. And I'm also very thankful for this experience, because it allowed me to think about that in a, in a way that I don't think many people have the opportunity to think about. And 
and I came to peace with death. I came to peace with the the realization that, you know, I may not live as long as I thought I would. And, you know, I, I do believe in eternal life. I believe like not eternal life, like in, in heaven or anything like that. I mean, like right now, like we are eternal beings. Like I, I don't believe that we die. I, I believe I believe the body may stop being animated, but our beingness will always be. And, and that's something that that I know for myself and never at any point I want to feel as though or I want you to feel as though I'm telling you how to live your life or telling you what to believe. This is just my own experience. This is my own journey. And I want to share this journey because it has been a journey that's allowed me to feel very grounded, allowed me to feel at peace, despite, you know, being told essentially that you may not have very long to live. And in this time of me contemplating death, I also realized how I was feeling and I didn't feel super tumultuous like there were of course like big emotions that would come up like in waves but it would never be so overwhelming that I would start to break down and cry or anything like that it would just be something that I noticed and as I started to realize I'm like this is a very heavy thing and and how far have I come just in my own recognition of like just this journey that I've been on where the smallest infraction would have caused me to break down to being, you know, essentially told this heavy thing and, and feeling still very grounded in in just my beingness and 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 being okay with with what's happening and just processing it as it comes. And that's the only thing that I, I kept reminding myself of. I was like, I can't I can't control anything that's happening right now. And I was like, I can be really upset about this fact that, you know, you know, again, like I may not live as long anymore, but you know, I can also get hit by a bus. And that can be the one that takes me out instead of like cancer or whatever it is. And and I just keep reminding myself of that because that's something that I feel is is something important to remember because we can we can wallow in something that hasn't come yet. We can wallow in the past of something that's past, but right now is when we're experiencing it. Right now is when we're experiencing that pain. And we can choose for ourselves what direction we want to go in, what what path, what thought, what belief we want to start you know giving life to because that's what we're doing when we're giving life to these ideas like i'm not good enough or you know this is not going to be good for me or whatever it is that seems like it's unpleasant we can dive down that avenue but we can also dive down another path and oftentimes we don't even know that's an option i know that i didn't know that was an option for so long and now that i do know that's an option and i'm so thankful again like i know that's an option now in this time that you know like this this was being confronted to me that it didn't it didn't move me and i felt very confident in being able to move forward and i felt the heaviness of that that death you know it's something that we carry all of us carry it and i didn't even realize we carry it and i didn't realize that we carried it to the degree that we do because even in the midst of you know feeling carefree and joyous in our lives and and really just living our lives and living our passions and kind of just moving forward in life we don't really think about the burden of death we you feel like so we're so wrapped up in other things in the world that we don't really think about the livelihood of our bodies but it's something that is really within everything that we do it's something that it's it's a weight that we carry it's like the the value of keeping this body preserved and it's something i mean even biologically like it's just like innate within the biology of the human body like it, it it's something so intense but as we are confronted with death in some kind of way it really raises that awareness of like what does this mean for me and that's what it did for me it made me kind of realize what does this mean for me yes i know that we're all eternal i know that you know like we are eternal now and all this other stuff but i also recognize this life of you know being a human being in this world with loved ones and family and and you know experiences that i definitely wanted more of so it was definitely a lot of processing but i do feel as though that recognition that I can go down another path like instead of thinking about all the things that I wouldn't be able to do I can think about all the things that I can do right now I can think about the 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 amount of love I can give right now I can think about the amount of happiness that I can experience right now and you know let that be the moment that I live in each and every moment that I can because I don't know how long those moments are going to be and this was again the process that I was going through and I was podcasting throughout this entire time like there were a lot of things that were happening and I was just kind of focusing on the realization that the only thing I can control is this moment right now 
and the only thing I want to give is is love and, and positivity and connection and as much truth as I know for myself through my experience and allow others to experience that and and if it's not until like years after I'm gone that anyone listens to this podcast that it but it still does something then hey like that's that's something that's incredible and I'm very very thankful for that and anything that that could come from it but so I, yeah I was podcasting throughout that entire time and and again like it wasn't something that burdened me it was something that that weighed me down so at, again as I'm moving forward towards this trip February happened my last podcast my friend came to visit and essentially after my friend left I was leaving that same day we both flew out the same day to leave to the mainland and during that time again I, I didn't podcast but just before that trip it was like the Friday before I was leaving that Monday and then the Friday before I get a call from my doctor because I had just got a biopsy done and a PET scan like full body PET scan done and the PET scan did confirm that the growth under my arm was cancer because it lit up in the PET scan but the biopsy showed that it was just an infection so that the lymph node was just infected which was a completely different story meaning that the cancer didn't have didn't spread essentially and the lymph node was just something that can be taken care of with like an antibiotic or something and the rest of the PET scan apparently revealed that there was no cancer present in the body anymore so the original diagnosis and the biopsy that was taken that did diagnose it as cancer, uh, apparently the cancer is no longer present. So it was obviously a huge relief and a huge kind of weight that was taken off. But also I didn't really dial it in as to what that really meant until weeks later because it was still a lot that I was processing for the past few months. You know, it was it was a lot of this looking at this and, and seeing if it spreads and seeing how to really manage it and and then it went from all of that, seeing a bunch of doctors, you know, speaking with cancer societies, I have like folders and all this paperwork and stuff and, and going from all of that to, you know, it's no longer present. There's nothing that we have to really speak about. My oncologist said, you know, there's not really much that we have to do anymore between meeting and appointments with her. So, you know, it, it was kind of just a huge, a huge shift that happened. Obviously, my main doctor wants to keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing else happens. But essentially you know it it was just like a few months of just this experience that I, I don't think that I would want it to go any other way I don't think that if I can change it I don't think I would change it in any other way because of what's come out of it and although there's still medical things that I'm going to have to continue doing down the line just to kind of make sure nothing else arises it's still something that I, I think that has been an incredible experience and uh, yeah, I mean, this episode was really just to kind of speak about that journey and kind of like why I haven't really been on the podcast or doing that for the past few weeks. And, you know, again, like I, I probably could have prompted y'all or something that, that I was going to just kind of drop like that. But yeah, otherwise, that's that's kind of been what's been going on. And throughout it all, I kind of feel uh, very thankful. I feel grateful for all the experience. The The whole thing is it it opened up another level of realization for me and something I'll, I'll probably speak about in another episode is just the realization that you know sometimes we can forget to live our lives in this moment because it's so easy to forget that you know we have all these other things that we're thinking about we're thinking about you know paying rent paying bills or uh, you know making other people happy or doing something right taking care of kids or all these other things that we're doing and and we always forget that we are also living our lives, you know, like this is our life that we're living in. And we also pray for some day or kind of like imagine some day when we don't have to carry those stresses or carry those burdens or carry that weight. But as long as we keep thinking about that down the line, it's always going to be down the line. And it's like right now, right now is this moment that we can start to bring that into realization because we never know. We can think five years down the line, I'll be retired and I'll have this, this, this. But tomorrow you can get hit by a bus. <laughs> I don't know why I always use a bus as an example, but you know, it, it's, we don't know what tomorrow expects. I mean, in the next five minutes it can happen. And I mean, I, I pray that that doesn't happen. You know, obviously wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. But the thing is, the fact is that, you know, that happens all the time. And I think that the chaos, the death, the tragedies that we see in this life 
They may be something that seems disheartening, but look at them and recognize that that feeling makes you realize that I want something better. I want something more. We don't have to get upset about them. I mean, feel how you feel. Like, let those emotions arise and be processed because they're coming up for a reason. But recognize that there are different paths that we can go down. And we can go down that path of like looking at the despair of it all. But we can also look at it in a different way. We can say this feeling makes me feel like I don't want this anymore. This feeling makes me feel inspired to start a foundation that helps these people. This this makes me want to write a petition to end this type of suffering that's happening. This inspires me to do something that impacts people in this meaningful way because I see this in it and it's not something that my feelings are telling me this isn't something that's pleasing for me. And then in this moment, we can find inspiration out of the things that seem so disheartening in the world. We can realize that we can focus on something better. We can focus on something more. We can focus on something that feels more inspiring and more pleasing and more joyous in this moment. And it can be very, very joyful building a foundation that helps people with cancer. You know, something that's very heavy. You can find joy in these things. You can find joy in helping people. You can find joy in giving people their last moments. There's something called dignity therapy, and that's essentially what that is. It's, it's individuals that are in hospice, and, and there are therapists and people that will speak with them. Write down their memoirs. like Let them know that they're being heard in their last moments. We can do these things that you know, like a lot of times hospice places, like they're, they seem like they're very heavy places and there are ways that we can bring light and we can bring joy into any circumstance. And it doesn't mean that we have to dismiss our feelings and just be happy and just be joyous. Feel your feelings, feel those things that are arising. And then once you know them, once you know that they're there, once you know what they're about, then ask yourself, what can I do with this? What, what's another direction that I can utilize this energy? What is this emotion telling me? If it's not a pleasant emotion, it's telling you that you want something else, that you desire something else, that your inspiration, your your passion is somewhere else. And follow that to the best of your ability. You don't have to make abrupt changes in your life. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Take whatever step you feel comfortable taking. Process things however you feel comfortable processing. And that's that's all that matters. But move towards the things that you aspire towards move th towards the things that you want to feel for yourself know that that is a path that you can go down know that that is a choice that you can make at any time just like at any time you can go back to feeling bad you can go back to feeling miserable you can always go back to doing that same thing you can go back to that same pattern that same habit but at some point you'll maybe want something different and in that time, allow yourself to recognize that there is a path available for you to make that choice. So, yeah, again, this has been a, a wild few months. Um, and even though that was the beginning of my year and the start of my 2023, I firmly believe that this is going to be an incredible year of incredible transformation, not only for myself, but for all of us. This is a, a very special time, I feel, in the history of the world and I think that it's going to be a catalyst for so much change on a very internal level for many people and I'm so excited for it so look forward to uh, doing more episodes I'm going to be a little more consistent I'm actually going to be moving out of the studio that I'm living in I'm, I'm very thankful to to be in this space in Maui and uh, I'm still going to be in Maui I'm actually just going to be moving down the street and it's going to be a bigger house uh, and just a kind of nicer space and I'm looking forward to that change as well. It's going to be a lot more uh, to pay for rent as well, but I'm starting to move towards leaping towards my opportunities and allowing the universe to support me in these ways. And and I firmly believe that if there's something that we're passionate about, something that feels good for us to do, if we leap in full faith that we would be supported, then we will be supported. And it's looking like I'm, I'm very well supported in this this journey right now. So I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for just each and every moment. I'm thankful for you. And I, I definitely look forward to doing this more. So yeah, look forward to uh, doing more episodes. And 
that's really that's all I got for this episode. So if you have any ideas or thoughts or anything like you like to share, you can send that to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com. You can join any of the social media groups, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter at every sun podcast, the Facebook group at every sun podcast, and the YouTube page, everything under the sun podcast. And yeah, that's all I got. Love you all so much, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>